Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. And this beautiful Dutch oven is Marquette Castings. In my new Dutch oven, what I'm going to make is a chicken stew. I diced three jumbo potatoes, so probably about five cups here, because this is a four cup measuring cup. So I'll put that in. To my potatoes, I'll place in about four and a half cups of frozen broccoli. I have two chicken breasts and I'm just boiling it for about 15 minutes. Then I'll dice it and place that into my Dutch oven. I diced up my two chicken breasts and I pre-boiled it for about 15 minutes. And the reason why I did that is I just didn't want to put raw chicken on top of my vegetables. So now I'll check on my broth. I used one 26 ounce can of cream of chicken soup along with a half a can of milk. Just mix it all together. Then I'll pour this on top of the broccoli, potatoes, and chicken. So I'm mixing it all in. This is the 26 ounce can of cream of chicken soup along with a half a can of milk. And this is my chicken stew. Now I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'll add some parsley. It's about a teaspoon. I have my oven on 350 and I'll place this Dutch oven in my oven which is on 350 for about two hours or until the vegetables are nice and tender so into the oven it goes. I'll check the stew. Oh yeah looking good. Smells good. Once it's all done then I'm going to add in a can of corn and a can of peas. It'd be about the 15 ounce can of corn and peas. I'll drain each can and then I'll add them to the chicken stew. Now I took my chicken stew out of the oven. I'll mix it. Really smells good. I love this Marquette casting Dutch oven. This is my first time using it too. So now I drain the can of corn and the can of peas. You can use frozen if you want, but I forgot to pick them up at the store, so I'm just throwing in the can. So I drain a can of corn, a can of peas. I'll mix it in. And like I said, put this in your 350 degree oven for about two hours or until the potatoes and broccoli are nice and tender. Okay, so I'll mix that all in. This stew is going to be really, really good because it's kind of cool out today. So now I'll put my lid on and put it back in my oven. It's been an hour and a half that I kept it in my oven. Ooh, doesn't that look good? This Marquette Dutch oven really cooked this chicken stew good. Fast. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my homemade chicken stew. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. And this beautiful Dutch oven is a Marquette casting.